Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna be going through my inventory. I have a market tomorrow, and what we're gonna do is go through all of the things that I'm bringing to the market. I've got two tote bags full here of inventory, and so I'm going to be bringing those things to the market with me tomorrow. Um, it's a 4th of July market, and I'm really excited about it. So let's, I've got my, um, laptop here. I'm just going to be using this to um, remind me of how much I'm selling things for my inventory and everything. So if you see that, I'm just looking over there to make sure that I don't miss anything. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So first we've got these bear heads. This was one of the first things I made and I've got these bear heads in a couple different colors. I've got four of them and each of them are going to cost $20 for the market. And then after that, I've got these leggy froggies. Um, I've got these and most of them are smiley faces. Some of them are other faces. Um, some of them are more of a straight face. Um, here's a straight faced one. They're pretty sizable, which is nice. And they're very fluffy. I made them with a chunky yarn and I'm selling those for, I've got seven of them, and I'm selling those for $15. All right. Now I've got a lot of these mushroom boys, and I've got big ones and small ones. So the big ones, I've got five of them, and I'm selling those for $15. And then I also have small ones I'm going to find where I put those small ones that I'm going to be selling for $12. So here's the size difference. All right. Now I've got some octopuses as well, and I've got small octopuses and big octopuses. So here's the small one. And then let me get a big one for you. Here's a big one made with the chunky yarn. So the big octopuses, I've got three of them and I'm selling them for $15. And the small octopuses, I've got six of them and I'm selling them for $10, okay? So I've got some different colors going on there. And then I've got these bow dumplings with cheeks. I'm really excited about these, my first time making these. And I have Let's see, I've got five of these and I'm selling them for $12. Okay. Then I've got these sushi. Let me get the sushi out. Here we go. This is what the sushis look like. Here's the bottom top very squishy and I'm selling these for $12 I've got five of them okay I think that's everything in this first bag I'm just gonna double check okay one more thing in this first bag is my big item but I should probably save my big item for the end so I'll get to that in a minute okay so in the second bag, I've got a couple more items. I've got these donuts. And they're stackable, which is fun. But anyways, I've got these donuts and I've got four of them and they're gonna be $15 each. I've also got these fried eggs and these eggs are going to be, um, let's see, the fried eggs, I've got five of them and they're gonna be $12 each. And then I've got some keychains. So I've got these strawberry, or some people think they look like peppers because I didn't add any white spots, but um, these fruit keychains. And I've got five of them and they're going to be $10 each. And then I've also got some more simple keychains, just basic 
wristlet type keychains. And here's what the edge looks like. I'll show you here. And I've got, let's see, I've got eight of these and they're gonna be $5 each. I've got them in some different colors too. So I've got like a blue one, for example. All right. And then I've got a lot of bandanas that I'm bringing. So this is a 4th of July market. So I've got them in many different colors, but I had to make sure that I brought red, white, and blue. So I have these bandanas and I am selling them for um, $15 each and I've got nine of them. So they just would wrap around your head. My hairstyle is not good for it right now, but you would wrap them around your head like this and tie them in the back. So it would lay flat if my hair was laying flat. <laughs> All right. And I've got nine of those. And then the last thing I have, I've got a bunch of these coasters, big flower coasters in a lot of different colors. I am, I have 12 of them and I am selling them for $5 each. And let me just double check this bag and see if there's anything else in here that I'm missing. There's the rest of the coasters, the rest of the bandanas. Okay, I think that's everything except my big item. So I'm really excited about my big item. I really hope it sells. I made a unicorn. Here's the unicorn. And let's see, let's see, let's see a close up. Here's the tails and the hair, the horn. And I've got this big unicorn and I'm selling this unicorn here. Um, it's like 12 inches or something. Well, with the horn, probably more like 15 inches. Um, I'm selling my unicorn for $50. And it isn't, why is it not listed here? Oh, I need to list that. But anyways, it's not listed on my inventory right now. I'm gonna need to add that, but it's gonna be $50. And so that's gonna be most of what I'm bringing. The last thing I'm bringing are these macrame plant hangers. So it comes with the plant, you get the plant and the macrame hanger, which I made. So here's the full hanger, spinning around. It's a wooden dowel at the top. And I probably just need to cut these little pieces off. I need to do that before tomorrow or fold them in. So I'll take care of that. And this is what they look like. And I'm selling these for $38. All right, and then I have one more item for you, and that was a more experimental item. I haven't made these before, um, so let me go grab that, and I'll be right back. I'm back. So what I decided to do is I got these glass tumblers that are very popular all over the place right now, and I got these from Hobby Lobby, and I decided to decorate them with the permanent vinyl. I did two sticker designs, or not sticker designs, but two vinyl designs. One is just a heart on each side, just two singular big hearts. And the other is a whole set of hearts. Now, I really love these designs. It comes with the bamboo lid as well as a straw these are glass straws and I am going to be selling these glass mugs for $20 each so that is experimental because I have never sold glass mugs before but we'll see how that goes they're very popular right now so I thought I might as well hop on the trend if you really like the mugs let me know in a comment down below and I can do a tutorial on how I made them because I did not use a Cricut machine um, and I will go ahead and be glad to show you how I made those. 
Um, so that should be everything that I am bringing with me. And now I'm going to pan over so you can watch me practice my setup. Okay, so here's what things are looking like so far. I think this is going to be pretty close to the final setup. I've got the bear heads over here in a basket, and I might actually bring this piece down. We'll see if I am able to do that. It might take it apart. So what I might actually do is take the bears, put this upside down. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. So that way all the bears can be seen, bear heads can be seen. All right. Then I've got some bandanas on display, um, some frogs, mushrooms, octopuses, my unicorn, all of my macrame plant hangers, the donuts, sushi, eggs, um, dumplings, some coasters, some of the, or basically all of my keychains, all here and then the rest of my coasters so basically what I'm trying to do here you may have noticed that this is a lot less inventory than I have so I have the rest of my inventory in here and what I'll do is I'll probably put these underneath my table and hide them so that way what I have and show is just this and then I restock things as as people buy items so that's basically what my plan is and you may have noticed but I implemented the rule of three um, except for the plants and except for the keychains for everything else I did I tried to do three of each item so that way you could just see a sampling and then you could go from there and decide what you want so this is basically how my setup is looking right now and I will next show you what it looks like when we set up at my table um, at the actual event. So stay tuned for that. I just realized I forgot to add in the mug, so I'm just gonna put those here now. I'm probably gonna just put all four of them out since I only have four. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm just gonna take all of these out. probably I'm not sure if I want to put the straws with them because I just want to keep the straws safe and sanitary so I might just keep the straws over to the side but 
I'll go ahead and put them here just so you can see the different designs. So it'll probably look something like that over to the side. I might push this over a bit, give them more room. Because what I don't want to happen is for them to fall or anything. So we'll see if these stay here. We'll see, we'll have to see on market day. I might move them so that they're somewhere else. They might end up over here as well on this side. But that's basically everything. So let's go ahead and uh, next scene will be at the actual market. Good morning, friends. I hope you're having a great day. It's market day, so I'm really excited. And um, today I am currently just at the drive through of the coffee shop that I'm going to close by my house. Then I'm gonna pick up my dad and brother who are coming with me today. So happy 4th of July and I will talk to you all soon. Hey guys, so here we are at the craft fair and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what my booth looks like. Well, it's about 12 o'clock and um, we have made some sales, so it's been great so far. And then we're just gonna keep going, so I'll let you know when we're packing up. Hey guys, so I'm here to finish talking to you about the craft fair and how everything went. So I'm just going to set you all up and we'll get into it. So basically, I've set you up on my um, desk so that way I can have a really easy way to talk to you all but I wanted to share with you the sales that I made and let you know how much I profited technically um, and so I do want to share at first that the booth fee was $100 so I had a $100 booth fee and then everything else I will consider profit because um, I am taking account of every expense for materials and everything like that in a running list of like my whole business. So today, today I'm just talking about the profit as in what I made. Um, I'm not going to be talking about how much the, um, the materials, cost of materials were or anything because not everything sold and I'll be selling some of those things at other markets. So it wouldn't be fair for me to give you the cost of all materials when not everything sold so um, I've got my computer right in front of me and I've got my bullet journal right here as well so I'm going to be telling you all the cash sales as well as the card sales so for the cash sales we had an egg sell for $12 um, a dumpling sold for $12 a donut sold um, for $20 and the reason why it was 20, and this was really nice, um, it was actually $15, but the gentleman who bought it just gave me a $20 bill and said, keep the change, which was so nice of him to do that. Um, then there was a Mushy Boy for $12, and that was the mini one. And then there was a big Mushy Boy for $15, $12 for another egg, another Mushy Boy Mini for $12, and then another Big Mushy Boy for $15. In terms of the sales that were done on my Square, um, with the card app, I had a dumpling sell for $12, a, an egg toy and a sushi toy for $24, an egg toy and a donut for $27, and a sushi and a small mushy boy for $24. So it was really interesting for me. That's all of the sales I made in total. Um, I'd have to double check, but I'm going to put the amount that I sold completely on the screen. Actually, let me check that now. So let me see if I can put pull that up. But anyways, I it went really well and it was definitely a fun time. Um, 
one thing, let's see, I'm going to put up the total sales on the screen. So anyways, um, I'll do the math of that. So it was really fun. Like I said, it was a $100 booth fee and I made around $100 basically. Um, and so that was really cool. I didn't sell everything that I was hoping to have sold. I thought that maybe I would sell more than that. Uh, I was definitely hoping for more sales, but that's okay because this is my first time doing a craft fair like this all by myself. And I am looking forward to doing the next one. So thank you for coming and watching this video. Please let me know in the comments down below if you have any other questions and I'll be sure to share with you my next market adventure. Okay, have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.